people in this grocery store are buying some products even you would have bought some or the other product from supermarket have you ever wondered how easy it is to spend thousand dollars but how hard it is to save hundred dollars it is because the government banks and corporate giants are promoting debit by various instruments like student loan consumer loans and various other instruments now let's understand how various countries manage their fiscal policies the main source of income for each and every economy is taxes so taxes will come in income column the income is spent on various things like social security medicare defense and debit service the gdp gross domestic product will come in the asset column because a nation is as strong as the people company and the things that they produce debit is added to the liabilities column because sooner or later the government will have to pay the debit that it has taken from other countries we come to know the cash flow of a country by looking at the income statement and we come to know the debit to gdp ratio by looking at the balance sheet after analyzing the income that is dollar 3.42 trillion and expense dollar 6.55 trillion of us economy we come to know that its cash flow for 2020 is negative of minus dollar 3 trillion after analyzing the gdp that is dollar 22 trillion and debit that is dollar 26 trillion we come to know that its debit to gdp ratio is 98% After analyzing the income that is dollar 220 billion and expense that is dollar 480 billion of India we come to know that its cash flow for 2020 is negative of minus dollar 260 billion After analyzing the GDP that is dollar 26.22 billion and debit that is dollar 2408 billion we come to know that the debit to GDP ratio of India is 72.1% Like this you can also easily analyze your own country's fiscal policy and understand the mismanagement done by various economies our aim is to show the truth to the people so that they can take better decisions for their financial future all of the learnings given in this video is by the book stock market cash flow which is written by Andy Tanner who is a stock market mentor of Robert Kiyosaki The author also says that virtually all the economies of the world are intertwined from sovereign nations to corporations to individuals nearly every financial statement exists under the umbrella of the united states in its fundamental numbers the sheer size of the massive us economy has something to do with it of course but this intertwining is also the result of something you may never have heard of the bretton woods system The Bretton Woods Agreement dates back to 1944 when the industrial nations of the world agreed that since the United States backed its currency with gold at the time the dollar would become the world's reserve currency. This means that all the commodities we consume that is wheat, barley, oats, frozen concentrated orange juice, gold, silver and even oil are measured in US dollars. Why should you care about Bretton Woods? Because if you are investing in stocks, you will be mindful of sovereign fundamental analysis. You need to know what's happening with the different nations of the world, and most importantly, you need to know about the strengths or weakness of the dollar at any given time. Due to the Bretton Woods Agreement, the US dollar affects virtually everything on the planet with US policies of deficit spending, pressure for higher taxes, printing money which devalues the dollar, and the policies of Europe, Japan, and China sending similar messages. Many people are afraid of what will happen to the global economy in the future and how they will weather the financial storms that will surely come our way. Never fear. Remember that fundamental analysis is a stepping stone that brings you closer to your goal of stock market cash flow. Remember that cash flow is all about how you position yourself. It has less to do with good or bad news as the world sees things. With the right education, financial storms can quickly become some of the greatest opportunities. This is why your context is so important. Thank you.